IIT Madras has just launched its first international campus at Zanzibar in Tanzania, that's in Africa. This is the first by any IIT in India. And joining us now, Professor B. Kamakoti, the director of IIT Madras. Professor, congratulations. Thank you for your time. Why Africa? Why not US or UK? Oh, well, when we started looking at international campus, there are three criteria that came into mind. One thing is that uh, the country should need us, the government should support us, and third, the education system there should be very important. And Africa ticked all these boxes mm -hmm. very nicely. And uh, also, uh, we have now got full government support of the Zanzibar government. They have allotted more than 200 plus acres for our permanent campus. They have also given a temporary campus which doesn't look temporary, okay. as such is a very, very well laid campus. This enabled us to start the program also early. So we have started the classes on uh, in October last week. And now we are, uh, uh, this today is the formal inauguration by the Honorable President of right. Zanzibar. IIT Madras ranks number one in India, 285, around 285 globally. Would this impact world rankings now, improve world rankings now? Absolutely. So one of the important things that uh, we are looking at uh, is perception, which is 45% around in the QS ranking that we participate. And uh, certainly perception improves when we actually go out and actually establish campus out. We believe that uh, the world will recognize our contributions. And uh, the, the, what is perception is that whether they know about us. And I think this will give us that basic uh, input about what is IIT Madras, where are they. I'm sure this is going right. to be important for us. Uh, when it comes to admission to these programs in Tanzania, Professor, mm -hmm. you don't have mm -hmm. a similar tough IIT JE like entrance test. You have a, another form of a uh, test and interview. Mm. Do you think this could dilute standards? No way, because we also ensure that that eligibility test is also as tough as this. There's a lot of logical reasoning, compute-based decisions that they need to take, and um, uh, so so the analytical ability is very well tested. Uh, so if you look at GRE, for example, that also tests on quantitative and qualitative and uh, analytical abilities. Uh, in addition to language, that's what uh, the GRE does. Mm -hmm. We are also doing something uh, uh, much more than GRE in terms of actually bringing in a lot more of logical thinking and uh, you know uh, reasoning there, right? So it is very, very important, especially for a course like data science and AI. And uh, for every exam, we will have an eligibility test. For every course, we'll have an eligibility test. And uh, then followed by a personal interview. We had close to 1,000 applications from which we selected around 45 this year for PG and UG put together. We just had one and a half months from the date of signing of the MOU till we created awareness and created a, collected the applications. So, uh, and uh, the feedback I get from the faculty who have been also involved in, uh, in, in many of these admission process is that the students are brilliant and I am sure that uh, this batch will be a very brilliant batch. Faculty crunch challenge, how do you address? Uh, there is no faculty crunch as, as much I should, I must tell uh, the viewers of NDTV that last year we have, uh, we have uh, close to uh, 100 people that we have recruited into, into our faculty, young assistant professors. Uh, so, a lot of people are now showing interest to come back to academia mm -hmm. and we are in position to attract many of them and we are now going on this uh, faculty stuff. And uh, uh, and for Zanzibar, uh, we are recruiting faculty directly for the Zanzibar campus. A mm -hmm. lot of good applications have come, a lot of good applications have come. We have already put six, ma six people we have recruited exclusively for the Zanzibar campus. Lastly, is it a kind of a soft power push by India? So as an educational institution, we have gone there, just not just for academic collaboration, with a lot of love and affection that we want to put in. And uh, our uh, uh, outcome in terms of this would be a good uh, cultural relationship that we want to build mm -hmm. uh, and also with a lot of trust. Thank you so much, Professor. That was Professor B. Kamakoti, the director of IIT Madras, talking to us as the campus launches its first international campus at Zanzibar, Tanzania. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.